Hey everyone, I'm Julia and welcome back to Crocoblock channel. I'm sure you're all waiting for this tutorial to complete the picture. But if you're for the first time on our channel and you missed our previous videos, I suggest you go to playlist and find Jet Engine for Gutenberg 1. We have very detailed tutorials on how to create custom post types, add meta fields and custom taxonomy, and also everything on listing templates and listing grid. Also, please make sure you're subscribed to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. We're on the home straight with current series on Gutenberg and a listing template. Today's tutorial will be dedicated to map listings. I'll show you how to enrich your website with an amazing dynamic map. Together, we will display the content from the custom post type and meta field using map listing block and style everything in a beautiful way. Now, no more talking, let's get started. Before we begin, please make sure that you have Jet Engine plugin installed and also we need Jet Style Manager so we can style everything at the end. First of all, you need to enable Maps listing functionality. Let's go to Jet Engine, Jet Engine Dashboard, Modules, turn on the Maps listing toggle and click the Save button. After that, let's have a look at the Maps Settings tab that will appear in the Jet Engine dashboard. To have an opportunity to add Google Maps to your website, you need to create your own Google Maps API key. If you already have it, just paste it right here, or you can watch our step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create it from scratch. No need to search for the video, just click on this link. So, the next one here separate geocoding API key. If you have a separate Google Maps API key with geocoding API enabled, turn on this toggle and insert it to the geocoding API key bar. Validate API key. To check if your API key works, click on the Validate Google Maps API key button. If everything is OK, you will receive a confirmation message. Disable Google Maps API JavaScript file. You need to enable this option if you already have a map created with the Jet Elements plugin. So, if you need to use the map from the Jet Engine plugin, like we're gonna do in this tutorial, instead of the map from the Jet Elements, then you need to enable this option. Preload coordinates by address. If you have a meta field with the addresses contained in it, you can use it. Maps listing will load and show addresses from it. Once you enable it, there will be one more option, meta field to preload. You can insert the meta field manually, combining them by using a plus sign, or click on add existing meta field. Select a source, for example, a custom post type. And after that, you will be able to select the necessary meta field. Avoid markers overlapping. If you have several markers on the same address, you can enable this toggle and they will be placed with a little offset. This way all the markers will be visible on the map. Now the second step is to create content for your map. You'll need to create a custom post type with meta fields. If you haven't done this, we have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create CPT from scratch. And the links to all tutorials mentioned in this video can be found in the description box below. Let's go to Post Types. Here is my custom post type that I created in our previous tutorials. What you need to do is to add a meta field for address and then add the needed addresses to every post. So, we will create this layout where a user will be able to see the locations of the listed properties on a map. Once you click on the marker, it will show a marker pop-up with a property located in this place. So, the plan is to create a listing template with some property information and then we will be able to display it via the map listing block in Gutenberg editor. To create a listing, go to Jet Engine, Listings, and click on Add New. 
This is a listing template that I created before. Basically, it's almost the same listing that I showed in one of my previous tutorials. If you missed it, I highly suggest you watch it because it will help you create a nice listing template from scratch. Keep in mind that the size of your listing template should match the size of your map. So the bigger the map, the bigger the template. My map won't be so big, so I chose medium size thumbnail and a bit smaller size of the font. Once you're done with it, publish your template and let's go to pages. Open the page where you want to place your map or create a new one. Click on Add Block button and find Map Listing Block. Once you add it, there will be a Block tab on the right. Under the general, you'll see Listing. Select a listing template that you created in the previous step. A bit below, set Metafield key to get address from. If you have the same Metafield address, please keep in mind that only post types with the address Metafield will be displayed. Check this option if you want to get item address for the map by latitude and longitude stored directly in the Metafield. Set map height and the number of posts that will be displayed on a map. Here you can also enable automatic map center detection. In the max zoom bar, Choose the default zoom of the map when it opens for the first time. And below it says Custom Map Style. In case you don't want to stick to the default map style, you can go for example to Snazzy Maps website. Select the style you like, for example this one. Copy the code over here and paste it to this box. It will change your map style completely, so it better suits your website. The next one, a zoom and pan control. In this drop-down menu, you can choose the way the users will be able to interact with the map. Choose whether it's gonna be greedy, cooperative or set it to auto. Also, you will be able to select if zoom, full screen, street view and map time controls will be displayed on a map. Now let's move to the next option, Marker. Marker is something that will show us the location of a property. It can be visual, like an image or icon, or a textual displaying, for example, title or price. To achieve the second result, simply select Text Marker Type and then set Marker Label to Post Title, Meta Field or Static Text. But we are working with the post types and meta fields, so with the Jet Engine we can dynamically pull any data. Once you select meta field, you will be able to choose any meta field that you created for this post type. Let it be price. I will also enable customize output and add a dollar sign to the very beginning. Of course, if you have Jet Style Manager plugin installed, you'll see this block style button. And if you click on it, you will have a chance to change the size of the text, make it bold, set a different color, and much more. And the second option is to set marker type to image icon and select any image or icon that you have in your library. Here we go. Use different markers by condition. You can set different markers for the items. If you enable this toggle, the settings you have chosen in previous field will be used as a default marker. Besides that, you can add some conditions and when they will be met, the marker changes. Click on the Add Item button and choose how and on which conditions the marker will change. By the way, if there are lots of items on the map and it looks messy, you can enable this toggle and all markers that are too close will gather into convenient clusters. Pop-up settings are for our listing template that will appear once you click on the marker. Here we can set its width, vertical offset and also enable add pop-up pin and add pop-up preloader that adds box with loading animation while pop-up data is fetching from the server. 
What's more, custom query and post query settings allow you to filter the posts of the chosen CPT and show only posts that meet the conditions. For example, let's unfold post query, then click on add a new item, type will be post and author parameters, post status published, and post by any author. The last settings here are block visibility, where you can hide the block if the query is empty or always show the block. And also advanced, where you can set additional CSS classes. And don't forget that block style button allows you to style the pop-up pin and pop-up reloader if there is any, as well as the map marker. Once you're satisfied with the result, click publish or update the page. And here is the final result. So that was it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as more cool and useful tutorials are coming soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.